This is the Tokyo Bar 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bar 23 sneaker channel days. My name is Chop Suno, they mind it to me to get aside. And every day I bring you sneaker content, sneaker information, sneaker reviews. And today I'm bringing you the unboxing of my first ever pair of Jordan sneakers. Kyo wa Tokyo Bar 23 no Hatsu Jordan o unboxing suru no de. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. As I said in the introduction, today is all about me unboxing my first ever pair of Jordan sneakers and this is them right here. Uh, if you saw Monday's video, you'll know what this is. Uh, of course, I've put it in the, the thumbnail, so if you're watching this, you definitely know what this is. This is a pair of Jordan for bread fours. Uh, and it's amazing that my first ever pair of Jordan sneakers is gonna be a pair of Jordan bread fours and I'm really excited about opening this box. Um, I said on Monday's video that uh, Monday was the introduction to me explaining about Jordan 4s and, uh, and about what I'm going to do this week with this box. Uh, and I also had a, a link, and I'll put the link up again here to the video explaining why uh, I've never owned a pair of Jordans before. Um, and I just want to savour this first time, the very first time I've ever opened a pair of Jordans, my own pair of Jordans, the very, very first pair. And they're bred fours. I mean, it's one of the most iconic sneakers in the Jordan lines. You know, it's, a, it's an incredible sneaker to be opening for my very first pair of Jordans. But there you go. I mean, there, there are reasons for it. I explained about government housing and things like that uh, before. Uh, so let's forget about that for now and just focus on the fact that I'm about to open up my very first pair of Jordans uh, in my life. Koreo Hatsu Jordan des ne. あの、43年間ずっとジョーダンスニーカーを持っていなくて、今日は初ジョーダンにえ、ミシマス、アキマスその開ける瞬間の顔とか感じがどうかなと思ってて楽しみとちょっとちょっと不安かなもう入ってる
Um, and no, uh, yes, it is the right size. I was just worried there for a minute, wouldn't be. Uh, this little hole here, uh, I've never seen that before because I've never owned a pair of Jordan sneakers. I think that's really cool. Oh, and there's the, it's the, the, the toe. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but the, right in there is the toe box that we uh, on the, the outsole. Okay, so, um, oh man, I really want to open this right now, but I'm not going to. And I have no idea how this looks on my camera. I'll explain about the, the equipment that I use to shoot videos in some other video someday. But anyway, there's your Jumpman logo and flight right on the front there. You've got that cement effect all the way around the, the, the lower half of the sneaker. You've got the Air and the Jumpman logo there. Uh, and like I said, you've got this whole, wow, it's got a real big whiff of glue coming out of there, a big smelly whiff of glue. And there's the sizing. So uh, you can see that these guys are my size. Well, I hope you can see them. They are. And if you can't, it says 12.5. I'm a US 12.5, which is uh, um, 30.5 centimeters in Japan. Now, I've never owned Jordans before, and I have no idea if you should go up a size or down size. No idea at all. Um, I've no idea. I really literally have no idea. You guys out there watching this who, who own Jordans and have worn a lot of Jordans in your life maybe know, oh, you've got to go up a size butter or you've got to go down a size. I've no idea. I'll find out on Friday when I, uh, actually not Friday, on Sunday when I do the on foot review. Uh, but for now, oh, gee was huh, for the very first time, the very first time in my life, I'm going to open up a Jordan box. I don't even know if it flaps open or if you pull the top off. I think you pull the top off. Uh, yeah, you pull the top off. I was expecting uh, expecting it to be a flat, but now you pull the top off. So painfully, carefully, um, my very first ever Jordan box. Ooh, I'll just pop that down there very gently. Uh, and there's a little, there's that hint of the toe that I was telling you about. And there's this black. Wow, that's quite nice paper, actually. Okay, are we ready? Tokyo Mark 23's first ever pair of Jordans in hand. Let's have a look at them. Ouch. Oh, I know that's nice. Ooh. Can I peel this bit back there? I don't want to rip the paper. Oh, man. Oh. Man, I really, really hope this is showing up on the camera. If it's not showing up, uh, it looks good from where I'm sitting. Um, Ah, let's take a moment just to savor that. Jeez, the black, the black is just black, you know? Wow. wow. And there's that, the, the original, the OG. I talked about this in a, a previous video, the OG hang tag, the Nike Air hang tag on the side. Ah, Tokyo Bar 23's first ever pair of Jordans are the Bread 4s. Okay, I'm gonna take these out of your view for a couple of seconds because I'm gonna take them out of the box. Let's have a wee look at them. I'll give you my first, ah, my first impressions. Wow. Ah, wow, man. There's not a single glue mark anywhere. Jesus, that's high quality. Oh, wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, um, I don't know where to where to start with these guys. They're just absolutely beautiful. I mean, that's that's one of the big things uh, about this sneaker is the Nike Air branding on the heel, uh, which is the first time in 20 years. The originals in 1989 had it, and then they uh, they did a a rerun in 1999 that also had it. But then the next two in 2008 and 2012 had the Jumpman on the back. So going back to this. Um, Going back to this Nike Air branding on the heel is, is a big deal for these guys. Now, one of the things I'm kind of surprised about is the size of the Air unit. I, th I thought it would be bigger for some reason. But I'm not going to review these today. I did say that. This is all about just unboxing, having a look at the very first pair of Jordans I've ever owned in my life. Uh, and there's a lot for me to take in about these guys. Uh, I, I've, never, I've never touched a pair of fours like this. You know, I've never been able to... Uh, just be, you know, they're mine, so I can do what I want with them, if you know what I mean. So being able to run my hands over them and have a good look at them, feel what the mesh feels like. Uh, even this, uh, I, I've, I've never found out what these are called, whether they're, you know, because I call this the lacing system here. These are the waffle eyelets, but I don't know what this and this is called. Oh, it's not there. Uh, it's on this side. Um, but anyway, feeling that, I don't know Molly approves. 
feeling that there. This is the first time I'm feeling this uh, this year as well that I'm the heel. But um, I will actually do a review of these on Friday. Today was all about just that unboxing moment, that very first time of getting these in hand. And like I said, man, the glue smell, flipping heck, they are just fully, they're very gluey. Um, so I, I realize I've been looking at them like, you know, the, without really showing them to you guys. So there they are, the, the Jordan 4s, the, the bread 4s. Ah, <sighs> my first ever pair of Jordans. Uh, and the problem, the problem I have is I'm starting at the top. You know what I'm saying? So um, maybe this is it. This is as good as it gets for me. There'll never be a better pair of shoes in my hands uh, than these guys. So, uh, so yeah, there's an awful lot to take in, an awful, awful lot of details on it. But like I say, I want to review these properly on Friday um, and talk about the details and the different parts and the different things I see. I'll take out the inner there and that kind of stuff and have a look at the other shoe. In fact, I'll get the other shoe out now um, just to sort of put them side by side. Nearly dropped it. <laughs> um, so there you have it. Man, another whiff of that glue. It really is a strong, stinking glue. Uh, ugly, was it Ugly Shoes Only I talked about? Um, he said that that's the smell of a general release. You know, like this, this, these guys have been punched out in a machine and that smell of glue is the smell of a general release. So there you have it. Tokyo Butter 23's first ever pair of Jordan sneakers. Tokyo Butter 23, no, Hatsu Jordan Des. Oh, I nearly dropped them again. Hatsu Jordan Des. Uh, I will review these, like I said, on uh, on Friday and I'll uh, we'll get into them and have a proper look and I'll get you close up to the camera and stuff like that. But for now, uh, I hope you guys are checking me out and hit me up with those comments down below and let me know about the firsts for you guys. Uh, what was it like when you first opened the box? Was it just like me just now, that smells and the sights? It's quite a, a sensory overload, you know. There's a lot of stuff to take in when you're opening um, opening them for the first time. So uh, let me know in the comments down below, you know, what your first uh, first Jordans were, your first sneakers were, what you think of the bread fours. Um, and I will be back on Friday uh, when I actually get into these guys and we'll do a proper review and we look at all the detailing and all the different parts of the shoe and I'll try and get a close-up uh, on the camera so you can get a proper look at them. For now, I'm going to check off so that I can actually play with these guys. They're not going on my feet yet. Uh, I'll put them on my feet on Sunday. Uh, because I want to do that on foot. Um, like I said, I want to savor all those firsts. The first time I put these guys on feet uh, and feel them out for size, I'm not going to do that until... Uh, well, that's interesting. Tell you about that on Friday. Uh, and and, uh, and that will be kept back till Sunday. So for now, thanks for checking in and, uh, and being part of this first experience with me. The first time I've owned a pair of Jordan sneakers. The first time I've unboxed a pair of Jordan sneakers. Uh, the first time I've got a pair of Jordan's in hand and they're mine and all mine, the bread fours. Uh, thanks for checking in guys. I'll see you tomorrow when I review uh, another sneaker. Uh, I think it's the Adidas A-Life tomorrow or was that yesterday? Uh, gosh, I'm so old and, and adult. Uh, yeah, I think it's the A-Life tomorrow. Um, so, uh, so yeah, check in that tomorrow and then check in on Friday when we do a proper review of these guys. For now, uh, it's time for me to sign off and say thanks for checking in and I will see you tomorrow.